Here's the little entrance map thingy. Spencer Pierce Little Farm. We're right at the heart of it. It owes a lot to the legendary and wonderful Eliza Little. Passed away about a year before I was born. And this is an old kind of manor home that really was built in 1690. We have some contented livestock, love and life, and the trail follows this way. Take it to High Road, and before long, we'll be at Old Town Hill. Look at this oak tree. Actually, it's a maple, I think. Yeah, it is. Pretty amazing. It's probably been here for an absurdly long time. There's a little kiosk. And the horse is named Schooner. He's 18 years old. Don't feed him. I <laughs> wasn't planning on it. Wouldn't even know what to give him. Oh, we got a... Looks like Toggenberg goats. A couple of sheep. And that one of the goats is limping a bit. And we've got our pal Schooner. crow overhead. I saw an osprey earlier. Here's the basic kiosk. Loaded with information. Upcoming events. And mapping stuff. Donations appreciated. Uh, and there's an Ipswich Ale t baseball team, evidently. So there's a little baseball field here. We follow this long, magnificent tree line driveway, and then I believe we're hanging a left when we get to High Street. Zooming our way, Rowley Ward. Looking back fondly along the majestic driveway to the Spencer Pierce little farmstead, and looking ahead, hopefully, to the intersection with High Street and the next leg of the bay circuit as I aim for Old Town Hill. I'm in Newberry even as I speak. And here's the signage where it all meets the street. The Essex National Heritage Site designation is in play. We see the Bay Circuit Confidence Blaze, as it's called. And over here, we've got a cool little home crafted sign indicating vintage baseball, as it would be appropriate in a historic preservation property. This is High Street in Newberry, and now we begin the next leg. This is what the entrance would look like from the street. Look out for the sign, Little's Lane. And here we have 
Tender Crop Farm. Which is referenced in the trail directions. Evidently they raised buffalo. And it's a demonstration of how farming is returning. Unlike the relatively unhelpful sandlands near Plymouth where the original pilgrims landed, these areas have long had very good quality farm soil and it may figure in to the fundamental origins of prosperity one finds up here when compared with the relative lack of the same down at the other end of the Bay Circuit Trail. And here's the Tender Crop Farm stand. It's pretty impressive. There's a whole run of farms up here. They seem to be doing relatively well. We even have a funny little windmill thing spinning. farm stand. It's fairly substantial. You got your own corn, apples, tomatoes, eggs. Parking lot is jammed. All in all, pretty impressive stuff. This is what we need to be doing. And the downslide that may well be ahead of us. And we're looking north toward up High Street. Hay Street is where we make our turn. It's motorism. Run a muck. Little Hay Street is our designation out here in the epicenter of auto love. We follow this a ways, there'll be another turn. And before you know it, I'll be down at Old Town Hill. Note the blazing. Indicating same. And a confidence blaze not far below. And this is the way we go. This is the way we came and it eventually goes all the way to the end of the northern side of the Bay Circuit on Plum Island. And this heads all the way down to Kingston eventually where I've been rooting around for the better part of August and September attempting to understand it. And we have some blazing indicating a turn. We're heading down this way. Haven't spotted the street name yet. Ah, there it is. Something Road. Looks a little degraded with age. <laughs> Boston Road, I see. Yeah, and the anti-government backlash that's so popular with some. Towns can't even seem to afford to keep their 
signs and other minor infrastructure details in working order. Or maybe they just haven't got around to it. Anyway, now we head down Boston. I think that's the deal. Yeah, at this time of the day, it seems to mostly be contractors on their coffee breaks and housewives driving around, so the pressure of motorism is somewhat diminished. No such thing as rush hour yet. <laughs> 